Yo, um, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh. By Shemi Yahushua, by Shemi Kakurash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the one in God's God. In His name in Hebrew means He exists. And Yahweh's Shah's name is only beyond the Son of the Lord, angry cause Jesus Christ. In His name in Hebrew means He delivers. By Shemi's in the name, Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of the great most known over the world. Peace and blessings unto the Shashar when it's pushed forth in the truth of the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom to you, brothers, and keep pushing. And a double shalom to the Israelites that look like the other nations that are shalom worthy. I want to say shalom to you, brothers and sisters, as well. My name is Dewar from Jim Van Salon, St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back at another video. So, yeah, this video is uh, circling. All right. And you got this guy right here. Adam 22 is supposed to be like this podcast. And. You know, we living in the era of podcasts, you know, because the age of information, which is really the age of information, because, you know, according to the prophecy, wisdom and knowledge should be increased. So a lot of these people, they get on these podcasts and talking about dating and relationships and, um, you know, so-called morals and all that. But I got a newsflash for you people, man. The only people that have morals, the only people who have the truth or any type of standard is the men of the Lord, okay? Because everybody's seeking for answers, all right? But the scripture says what? The election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. And that's if you're an Israelite, all right? Because if you a heathen, then you was just never given that covenant from the beginning, okay? But you do have a lot of heathens that know the truth and they understand the truth. And they might believe the truth, but hey, guess what? They're heathens, and they still gonna have to be put to death, or they still have to go into slavery. Why? Because we had to go into slavery. All right. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and play this video. I'm not doing this video for any monetary gain, just strictly educational purposes only. And I'll pull some precepts, and Lord, let this be edifying. My tweets are cringy. Some of them, yeah. What? Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, and yeah, the title is Lane of the Plug on doing a first stream with another man and more. Right? Mm. <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh, I'm getting a call. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to take this. Uh Epidemic Sound provides you with restriction free music and sound effects that you can use across all of your content. Oh, hello. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> Mr. Jason Love. How you doing, man? What's good? What's good? Uh, we're just doing a little podcast here and uh, figured that we would, uh, you know, have a little conversation with you to see exactly how all this was for you as well. Oh, my God. Cool, cool. That's why I chimed in. Catch y'all. See what's up. Definitely. So is there, what's the vibe like between you guys? Anything I should know about? I don't think there's a, like a really vibe. I think it's like a business thing, but I feel just very uncomfortable with this right now. I felt awkward. A little uncomfortable. Can you tell him how nervous I was? Bro, like, so nervous. Oh, my God. I, I feel so wrong right now. I feel so wrong right now. Like, it like it's just work. Okay. But a lot of people have, like... Right, so basically, as the title says, so this is the Jake that popped hair right here. So this is... This is his wife, okay? And I have another little short. So this is... um. The Instagram story or short, all right, that um, that this woman right here, you can see this the same woman that's in the video. So, yeah, this is her right here. So, this is before they did the, the scene, the wicked-ass act, which is adultery, okay? <laughs> it's finally happening. <laughs> wow, I did not know you were going to do that. <laughs> Hey guys, guess who I'm shooting with today? <laughs> it's finally happening. <laughs> wow, I did not know you were gonna do that. <laughs> hey guys. Right, so yeah, that's before they did to they did the do. Okay. And which uh these um you know, which I actually think she might be a Israelite, you know, she likes she has the Israelite woman look. Okay, but she just probably grew up thinking that she was another nation, you know, she got that vibe to me. Um, 
that she might be an Israelite. I don't really know like her background or anything like that. But you know, she's married to an Edomite man. This man is an Edomite, you know, and you know, and all of them bugged the hell out. You know, the the Edomite man, of course, you know, the you Edomite men and you Edomite women are the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know, an Edomite woman is a she devil. All right. And you two third Jace, cause you know, like a nigga like this is bugged out himself, got tattoos everywhere. Okay, you know a Jake is not in his right mind when he have tattoos everywhere, like around on his body and including his face. Okay, and you know you got a lot of Jakes is into that that industry, you know, which we know that industry is ran by the small hats, you know. But I thought these were the people of God, you know. These small hats are um, basically own uh, P Hub and all these other different adult websites. All right, and industries. Why? Because they the devil that the Bible speaks of. It ain't gonna be no damn porn industry in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> and I, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna have a smartphone and then you can click on a damn a damn dirty website and get off to that. Nah, man, that's not gonna even exist in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, you know, but it's just only in this kingdom. Why? Because Esau Edom is the devil that the Bible speaks of, and the reason why these uh, different platforms exist. Is because a population control, all right? Because they don't want men and women dealing with each other in a sexual fashion, unless it's some wickedness, okay? Because Esau Edom, he understands how the human body operates. He understands that a man desires a woman, and vice versa, women desire men, you know. And um, so, like he he tried to capitalize off that, and you know, that goes into um. The Georgia Guidestones keep the pro the population under five hundred million. All right, but yeah, but nonetheless, a hey, pornography, hey, this wicked as hell, you know. But um, but kind, she said she felt so wrong, like it's a, like it's a um, it's just a business transaction, yeah, bitch, yeah, right. Even though you got paid for it, you know, she still want to act like she's innocent or whatever, man. But hey, man, you you women are bugged out, man. And we know how these women, they secretly, you know, got a, you know, got a thing for Jake, but they got to portray to the world that they don't. But, you know, we already know how you, um, how the, the women of the other nations feel, man. It's not to boost ourselves up, you know, just what it is. All right? Because even our forefather, King Solomon, is the ultimate Jake. You know, he had, you know, a lot of heathen women. A cheating fetish like i'm not gonna lie like the, the, i feel like you do yeah cheating i've done in the past was i'm a little bit turned on by the fact that i was doing something underhanded or take take myself out of it but like if you're fucking a girl and you know she has a boyfriend and she's doing something wrong that is kind of hot is it a little bit you see he knows <laughs> so yeah and hey, hey we uh hey, we told you our brothers this for the longest and you sisters you know like a lot of jake's you know, hey, they get a rush off of committing adultery. They get a rush off of doing something, uh, you know, something wicked. You know, just regular sex and just dealing with a woman who's single and who doesn't have a man. That's just not good enough for them, hey. Even Eve is out here alone. She'd rather get off on adultery instead of just, um, just meeting a man the natural way. <laughs> she got to commit some adultery or try to get with a so-called married man. You know, which we already know that women, you women, you like men who's, uh, who other women want. You know, that's just y'all makeup. But but a single man, y'all really not checking for him, for real, for real. Okay? Let's keep listening. It's kind of like the adrenaline. The adrenaline like, I feel so guilty if, if I was the other woman. Okay, so Jason, give me a, a genuine review. How was it? You want like a, 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 a number scale or just like... Numbers sounds like it could be hurtful, but if, you, <laughs> yeah. if it's a high number, sure. It gives me like a four. Hundred <laughs> percent, nine out of ten. Really, nine out of ten. Who's a ten? Well, obviously her. Oh. Well, she. Well, it was a nine out of ten. I never, I never grasped an entire ten before. It's like you gotta leave room for something that could possibly pop the next one. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a nine then. That's fair. Um. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of people want to know. Uh. I don't know. Just like. If I should feel 
diminished as a man as a result of this. Like the cuck narrative is very, very strong. I just want to get your thoughts on that and if, if, if how people should think about that in, in the context of me being, you know, the, the silent third party in all this. Well, I don't know. Like, if you look at it in a business aspect, then basically it was just a job, you know? She's high up in her ranks. I'm high up in my ranks. Us two together, obviously, we make the most amounts of money. So it's not so much being a cook. If you're comfortable with it, y'all communicated the problem. Obviously, she said y'all did. So it's not really a cook situation. It's more of like <laughs> two people coming and making an understanding. Yeah. You know, so if you're cool with it, then, you know, it is what it is. Me personally, I don't know if I have enough in me to allow it, but everyone is different. Everyone have different levels of how they say mental maturity. Well, it would be kind of weird for you to find a dude bigger than you. Maybe they could resurrect Andre the Giant or something. Maybe you could get Brock Lesnar to come through and cut it up for you. But I mean, you're kind of like with the. But yeah, and yeah, because this dude is a Jake. You know, Jason Love is. Yeah, he's a Jake. So of course he wouldn't be cool with it. Like yeah, he's you know bugged out, and he he, he know deep down inside it's like yeah. like you for that so yeah of of, of course she's gonna say no because uh jake jake know deep down inside what like what they're doing is wrong because the lord put that in our um in our hearts to know right from wrong you know and hey, that's even in the scriptures itself but i'm gonna pull the scripture and um I further explain so this is Leviticus 20 and 10 and a man that committed adultery with another man's wife he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife the adulterer and adulteress should surely be put to death right so and this is how it was you know back then and even now you know you might say ah well what if they cool with it you know what if the guy don't mind you know hey that's still that's still wicked you know regardless if the dude don't mind because first off you know uh, Esau Edom uh, the spirit that's in Esau Edom hey, is not a right in him. Okay, hey, and Esau Edom knows that he's supposed to be in chains and uh, and subject to us, you know. And the scriptures call him what the uh, the the basis of men. Okay. So this is uh, Habakkuk two and four, and it reads, "Behold." His soul which is lifted up is not a right in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and is as deaf, and cannot be satisfied. But gather unto him all nations, and heap it unto him all people. Right. So the soul that's in these Edomites is, is not a right in him. You know, they, they can't do right. You know, hey, letting another man plow your wife. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, man? It's just like allowing a man to wear your damn drawers or, um, you know, he take a bite off a sandwich and you took a bite off a sandwich right right, right where that nigga took a bite off the sandwich. Like, no, man. That's nasty. All right? Um, you know, especially a woman, man, because you got... You got uh, saliva and, you know, sperm and all that, man. That's disgusting, man. And, you know, you women, you don't want to hear that because you feel dirty uh, when men talk like this. And guess what? You should because the serpent, hey, he lied to you and make it seem like that it was okay. It's not okay, man. It's nasty. It's, it's base. It's disgusting. It's, it's immoral. Hey, even she said she was nervous and she didn't want to do it. You know, but she did it anyway. Why? Because she got them demons on her. You know, and that's what's socially uh, accepted nowadays. Okay. Uh, this is um, Ecclesiastes 26. And I'm going to start at 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in the haughty looks and eyelids. Right, so haughty. So uh, proud. 
you know, like a proud look. And a lot of these American women, they have real proud looks. Hey, ain't, ain't hitting on nothing, man. Woman is trash, okay? But, you know, if you not a fulfilled man, like deep down inside, you would feel like, hey, yeah, I got to get a piece of that or I got to... Or I got to take her off the streets or something. You know, just real simp, simp behavior. Okay? Because, you know, like, why would a guy even marry a woman like this who, who who's even doing um, porn? You know, like, they're just sick, man. They're just trying to just make things clean that's unclean. Okay? And that's even in the scriptures. If I can just get that real fast. Um, then I'm going to hop back. So this is the book of Job, chapter 14, and verse 4, and it reads, Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean, not one? Right, so you can't bring something clean out of something that's unclean. Right, if a woman slept with a hundred men, you can't say, oh yeah, this woman is clean, yeah, this is the woman for me. Man, you just lack understanding. And it's nothing wrong if you get a woman over here in America that's that you know that's cool with you, okay. I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with that, but you just gotta be mindful of her uh, body count and like what she did before you. And really, all of them did, you know, trying to make it seem like that you that you insecure or whatever, or you know, I like these women. They bring up broad sides because these women are evil. They know how to manipulate and. Uh, basically, like, use your ego, like, like use your male ego against you, you know. But if you're comfortable with yourself, if you're comfortable with how you, how Bashim shot made you, you know, it shouldn't matter if a man's ride is bigger than yours, you know. It don't matter. I don't give a damn. I just don't want a woman that I'm dealing with to, to deal with another man. I mean, or I don't want a woman who I'm interested in to have 30, 40, 50, 60 men. Okay, I mean, and that's just a reasonable... Thing. You know, I don't want a street walking woman. You know, I want a real virtuous woman. I want a a, a pure woman, because a woman like that, you doing doing all type of nasty things. You know, especially nowadays in this kingdom, like where women, um, you know, get a body up for little to nothing. Um, and say even these women, because a lot of these whores, they go both ways. You know, like you can't you you can't tell me that this woman ain't ain't uh, licked on another woman before. Okay, no, or don't let a late or the let a you know the, like the new thing is what these uh, lady boys, you know, banging up these women, saying it's the same thing. So they got a, a a freak, a dude with titties, uh, banging out a woman, man. That's some bugged out shit, man. Like what the hell, what the hell type of shit is that? And the spirit from that psychopath, because that dude who did that. Uh, it's a psychopath. It's going. It's going on this woman right here. Well, not particularly this woman, but I, I, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. But I'm just saying, just women in general, you know, because that's why the scripture says she just she that liveth in pleasures is dead while she liveth. Okay, because these people are are dead that's doing these acts. You know, they have no type of morals. They have no like no mind. You know, so. um and you gotta be grateful to your how while your how was shy for uh, for pulling you out of the world because this is what's in the world. It's these type of sexual wicked acts, man. It says um, it's First Timothy five and six, and it reads, "But she." That liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, right? So she that liveth in pleasure. All right, so you're talking about um, the uh, women, man. It's all about pleasure. Pleasure, 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 pleasure. Feeling good. Um, You know, food that tastes good. No, like, no veggies. No, like, no nothing. Soda. Um, You know, sex that feel good. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that felt so good. But then afterwards, like you feel like shit or doing drugs. Uh, yeah, I, I I feel good. But then afterwards, you know, you feel like shit because you come back down to reality. So you just keep 
needing to do those drugs in order to feel fulfilled in your life. Okay? So it says, um, verse 14, I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. For some have already turned after Satan. Right? So yeah, some have already turned after Satan. You know, and that's the uh, majority of these women, you know. And, you know, because I, I believe this woman is, you know, could be an Israelite. You know, she gives me that vibe that she is. But, um, but yeah, I just go to show you that, you know, women are the weaker vessel. <clears throat> women are the weaker vessel. And you can't give a woman liberty because hey, the bitch will destroy herself. Tom wants me. I, I feel no type of way. You know, like like we can just we can just see through that shit. Like this is a business transaction, you know. And you already know that she gonna probably want to do it again. All right. So yeah, like a woman like that, man, just pretty much trash, man. She got to destroy her spirit. You know. Like you, you women are sick, sick and disgusted. Says, uh, so let's go back. It says that our daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through over much liberty. Watch over her impotent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. I see a yeah, marvel not. It's like you ain't supposed to marvel, you know, if you for brothers out there that have children, especially daughters, you know, marvel not. You know, because especially if, if they of age, you know, they gonna want to deal with a man. Okay, because it's just in their nature. That's why the scripture says that it was just good to marry off your daughter. You know, give her to a man of understanding. You know, in the care of um, of like over a daughter, they, they take it the way sleep. Because you're always wondering like where she at, what she doing, is she getting a damn train ran on her or something? Because niggas out there do that, man. Because like the type of world that we live in, and it's all thanks to Esau Edom. You know, because we in a moralist society now. Like, we got dudes that's, that's into that. And a lot of these dudes, they pop, they, they pop each other too. Okay? And then they pop the woman. All right? Doing all, doing all type of wicked shit, man. Like, what the fuck? Like, why the fuck would I want to deal with a woman in this society? Because that's, that, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm, I'm dealing with women that's been popped by... By by sodomites, you know, that probably done strapped on a damn plastic dick and, um, you know, popped another woman. Like, come on now, like these people are crazy. And I I, I can't wait for the Lord to destroy you people, man, because it, it's getting overbearing, you know, here with you people and just watching y'all, you know, it's just it just it just icky and nasty. All right. Uh, verse twelve is the point. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler, and when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her, by every head she will sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Every arrow. Right, and that's what this woman is doing. You know, open her quiver against uh against every arrow, man. You know, hey, this this is not cool. This is not cool. This is disgusting. This is wicked. You know, because the most high, hey, he don't play that shit, man. Like, hey, who's, like, uh, you say, mate, oh, man, like, I'm cool with it. I, I don't mind my wife. Like, my wife can have sex with other men and yada, yada, yada. But, hey, what did the most high say? The most high said no. You know, that's, that's causing the land to come to confusion. Okay, this woman got a different spirit on her now. You know, and when she, you know, when she running this dude, you know, because this dude is a simp. Let's listen a little bit more. Biggest dude that I could think of. I don't know. It's going to be tough for you to find a bigger guy. I think I got a couple. I think a couple. Yeah. Well, I could you know, it's not just the size. It's everything that goes into it that makes it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Lena, Lena is just, like, shriveling up into a ball right now. I can see how uncomfortable this is making you. Yes, it's making me very uncomfortable. And I'm glad that he's only... 
you know, on Zoom and not here right now. You think that would be awkward? <laughs> yes. Also, I would feel like I'd feel very a lot of sexual tension, and I felt like we would have to do a scene. Oh if you guys were both here. See, see, see. Oh my God. See, you see what I'm talking about? Oh my God. See, that's why the Lord said, "Don't do that," because hey, she, hey, she, she more into him than she is her 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 own husband. You know, and now she got to keep going back to get that. To, to to get that uh to get that you know what to get that right to you know to satisfy her needs okay ain't that which is wicked man that's what the Lord said don't do that shit that that's confusion especially if they have a ch you know a child you know like how the heck can you raise a child um like that like why would you want to bring a child into the world like or you see you see your mother uh doing this podcast years later down like years later down the road and you're like damn like my mama damn hoe you know like yeah this is normal like this is sick this is disgusting man that's why the lord invented the law of strategic commandments to prevent this from happening you know, hey, hey, and, and and look at this dude, man. Like, even though, like, even though he laughing, hey, and he did, he he like, damn. Like, this woman really liked me. You know, like, look at this dude's eyes, man. There's it's, it's no, like, it's nobody there. She's out of control now. She's on a tear. <laughs> I've been known to have that effect. I apologize. See, all right, now I'm gonna have to really mind you next time you're going to an adult event that he's gonna be at, right? No, but I would be turned on if you were there. Uh, no, no. Look, we done, we done heard enough, man. See, this is why the Lord said, "Don't do that thing," you know. And as, as, as she just, she just fell in love with him. You know. She more, she more into him now. This is um, Genesis 20 and 1. And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur and journey in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, she is my sister. And Abimelech, the king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. But Yahweh came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man, for which thou hast taken, she is a man wife but Abimelech had come not near her and he said Lord would thou slay also a righteous nation said he not unto me she is my sister and she even herself said he is my brother and the integrity of my heart and innocence of my hands have I done this right and Yahweh said unto him in the dream yeah I know that thou didst in the integrity of thy heart for I also withheld thee from sinning against me therefore suffer I thee not to touch her. Right. So the Lord said, Hey, hey, you, hey man, nigga, you a dead man. You know, which Abimelech, uh, yeah, he was a, I think he was a Hamite. All right. Between Kadesh and Shur and Journey to Gerar. But, um, yeah, but kind of, yeah, Abimelech was a, I believe Abimelech was a Hamite. I might have had to do a little bit of research on that, but but kind of, but yeah, like the point is, is that um, is that hey, the Lord never played the adultery stuff, man. So yes, hey, so this is like this is what you get, like so now she got to try to, you know, now she got to try to like soothe him for allowing that. See this, just straight confusion, man. Because you, know, you women, you bring nothing but confusion, you know, and why would you even? Like, why would you even wife a woman that, that do this type of things, man? Like, hey, once you do that whole lifestyle, like, you can't you can't go back and try to live a normal life, you know? It's, it's already over. I, ho I hope there's nothing provocative pop up. Actually, yeah, she was born, um... A little bit about her. I'm trying to see her ethnic background. 
Yeah, she looks like she might be um I don't really say too much, too much about her, but it, it says she, um, she's a popular for her gluteal workouts and fitness tutorials, you know, basically trying to get that, that booty big, because you women, you want big butts and stuff, so you can attract a mate, okay, that's what it all boils down to, man, is you attracting a mate, man. But yeah, hey, this place, hey, it's about to be here and be destroyed. And call Allah Halal Mate, how about you, man? Hey, because we, we can't wait for the Lord to destroy people like this, man. You know, like, even though this woman might be good looking, but it's just the mindset of like what they do. You know, because this, you know, this world is so backwards, it's ridiculous, man. You know, um, you know, like giving these women platforms to, to destroy themselves and embarrass you. You know? You know, then they want to make it seem like that something is wrong with, you know, with you, for you not wanting your wife to go certain places. Like, nah, it's it's boundaries. You know, these women they 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 lack order. That they want to do what they want to do. Um, let me see. So this is um. Proverbs six. 32, but whoso committed adultery with a woman lacking understanding, he that doeth it destroyed his own soul. A wound in his honor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though thou give us many gifts, right? Because, hey, this dude, like, like my theory is, she, you know, she gonna, she gonna probably try to leave him for him. You know, cause uh, you know he obviously put you know put it on her real good. So yeah, she gonna be more attracted to she. Well, obviously she already more attracted to him. You know, so um, so yeah, she, she gonna end up leaving this cuck for him. Uh, at least gonna try to, gonna try to get it consistently. You know, but yeah, um, yeah, that relationship is doomed. It's doomed. It's only a, it's only a matter of time, man. You know. Um. This is Revelation 18 and 5, 4. And it reads, And I heard a, another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached into heaven, and the most I have remembered her iniquities. Right? So yeah, come out of her. You know, like stop doing the same things that these people are doing. You know, like stop eating pork or stop commit adultery you know because brothers have and brothers have um well before they came into the truth obviously shit don't shit brother better not be fucking committing adultery if not then your ass gonna get out of here or the most i gonna judge your ass you know and it's gonna be revealed like what you doing you know and um like getting tattoos because hey you should already know like what somebody is about Especially a woman who have multiple tattoos like that. A woman who have multiple tattoos like that, man. Come on, man. Like, you trying to talk to her? Like, you trying to wipe her? Like, bro, that just shows you lack understanding. I mean, and, like, and even if you do understand the type of woman that you're dealing with, that just shows that uh, that, that you're not really thinking spiritually. You're just thinking with your, with, with your ride. Okay. So, um, and that's not the type of spirit you're supposed to be in. Like, you're supposed to be in a spirit 100%. Like, you shouldn't be in that, oh, I need, I need pussy, I need pussy, I need pussy type spirit. 
You know, that spirit can get you killed, man. Like, that spirit can get you damn disease. That spirit can get... Nah, the Lord allow that. You know, you that dumb ass to get a disease. That spirit can get you an unwanted pregnancy. You know, that, that, that spirit can get you... Um, you know, now you attached to the woman for the rest of your life. You know, if you decide to have a baby, she might just put you on child support. Uh, that like that spirit can get you a, a toxic attachment, okay? Like you might, cause you know, hey, these women, they, hey, they out for blood, man. They like they use their vagina to get the heads up on you, like, and, and, and even if you might, and even if you might, um, might not like the woman, cause hey, hey, women know when a man really like them, you know, and that's the whole purpose of them doing it, you know, trying to get you attached. So then they can leave you and go screw somebody else. And then your ass heartbroken. Now you got your damn heart broken by a damn slut. All right. <laughs> and look, they know what they doing, man. They know what they doing. You know. And now and now you calling her and stuff and begging for her back. And she getting plowed out by another nigga, man. All right. But yeah, that, that, and the cycle just uh, repeats itself. Rinse and repeat. You know, uh, conquer, divide, move on. <laughs> that's what these bitches do, man. Okay? That, that's why the Lord said, give her not much liberty. Alright? Because, um, it's wicked, man. Because, hey, whores really mess up societies, man. They really mess up societies. And, um, hey, Esau, hey, he's, hey, hey, he's behind all this. You know, with you, Jake's, um, you know, you, you wicked jakes that's doing it too. Most are gonna kill y'all niggas too. But the main person that's doing it hey, is uh, Esau because he's in power right now. Uh, it's like verse 29. So Leviticus 19 and 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. At least the lamb fall into whoredom, and the lamb become full of wickedness, right? So you're whores that mess up society. Okay, so now you got adultery. Then nigga get jealous, and then you got murder. Okay? And then um, committing adultery, or, or then, you know, you want answers, so then you go see a witch. You see what I'm saying? It just destroyed, just, that's why the Lord said you just gotta just cut, just cut them off. Because a wickedness spread like cancer. Alright. That's why the Lord was just so cut, you know, cutthroat. Like, nah, just boom. You know, which the Lord is extending his mercy and grace now. You know, the Wadi Haba Shemi for, Shah for that. But still, though, hey, you people, you only got a certain amount of time to get yourself right before this judgment come. You know, especially if you're Israelite. If you're a heathen, hey, you're done. Right? But I'm gonna go ahead and end it off with that. I want to say, call Allah, I'm like, like, how about Shemiel, Shabbat Shemiel, Kabbalah, Shalom, the Bible, Bible.